Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I went pink. <laughs> it's semi-permanent anyway, so it washes out. <laughs> if you were thinking about Greg's protein bar, then here is a review for it. And I also have Remington's, the white chocolate cinnamon swirl. We know that he did his peanut butter and jelly and his cinnamon swirl and he added the chocolate coating. So I'm gonna let you know what this now tastes like. I have been waiting for Greg to finally release his protein bar and I'm super, 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 super excited to share it with you. And I'm just so excited to get into comparing. Let's find out if Greg lives up to his words. Okay, so let's compare the macros. Greg's protein bar is 200 calories and Remington's protein bar is 285 calories. So it's almost 100 calories more. Greg's has a total of six grams of fat while Remington's has 11 grams of fat. So this one has four more grams of fat. Greg has 11 grams of fiber, while Remington's has one gram of fiber. So Greg already has 10 more grams of fiber in his. Now the sugar, Greg only has six grams of sugar, while Remington has 17 grams of sugar. So 11 grams of sugar more inside this protein bar. And both of them have 21 grams of protein. So macro wise, Greg's is already winning at that one. It's just so much more beneficial. And for the same bar, you get less calories, more fiber with less fat and less sugar. So this is already winning with the macros on Greg's side. Because when you're eating something that contains more fat or more sugar, it obviously is gonna taste better and it's gonna be more sweeter, which is gonna just cause you to want more of it. And I remember from eating Remington's bars that there was times where I was like full and I was satisfied and there was times I was like, damn, like I want another one. So that's where, you know, it plays that role and effect with. And he's even said in his own videos that he literally can't stop eating them. I think he said he was up like 10 pounds. My diet lately has not been good, but I have a good explanation for it, all right? If you, if, if you removed Anabars completely from my diet, it's been spot on. But I've been eating, oh my gosh, minimum of six Anabars a day, which stops as of right now. And let me show you what I did to combat that. Uh, a box of each flavor, kind of chilling. I used to have all my other boxes all up in here, lined out. But what we did, so we don't have to, the, the temptation, and this is why I have to store the overflow of the Anabars. Just so I don't gain 100 pounds. Your boy's up like 10. I'm up like 10. It's not good. So for now, the Anabars are locked in here because your boy's up 10. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> so that right there is given proof that although these taste really good, it's because you want more and more and more of them. So now you're just packing on, you're eating more calories, and obviously you, that's how you're going to gain weight. So if you have no self-control, these can get really, really tricky on you. Remington said it himself, he was up 10 pounds. A box of Greg's protein bars, and I'm going to link his website in the description below. So for one box, it's $34.99. But if you buy three of them, it comes out to $89.99. So each box more or less then comes out to like $30 each. That's if you buy three. And then with Remington's, one box is $29.99. And I'm not exactly sure, but I think on his website, if you spend like $100, you get free shipping. I'll also link his website in the description below. Greg's is only like $5 more than Remington's. Okay, taste test time. So I gotta hurry up because I gotta run to the gym. But I had this one yesterday. It's not my favorite. It's not, it really doesn't remind me so much of cinnamon either. Um, I can't put exact name to what this taste is like. Um, I don't really taste the peanut butter. I don't really taste the chocolate either, the white chocolate. Honestly, I don't know what it is and I don't wanna open it because I don't wanna eat it right now. I don't know, if you've had the new one, the white chocolate uh, cinnamon swirl crunch, leave a comment below and tell me what you think, if you feel the same. It just has like a lingering taste. I mean, I won't buy this one again, I'm not gonna lie. I did have the peanut butter with the milk chocolate and that one, again, now the peanut butter taste went away 
like it you know not went away it just is not as strong what i taste is like a milk chocolate and a little bit of jelly with that peanut butter one and that one i had really liked before he added the milk chocolate to it so that's my opinion on those from Remington. Now we're gonna go into Greg's because I'm gonna have this right before I go to the gym. Now I did have a little taste of this before. What I love about Greg's is that the flavor is not overpowering. It's smooth and I love to eat things that have flavor and feel like very smooth, not like smacked in the face with it. I enjoy my food better that way. This protein is the double chocolate bar. What I first thought when I was gonna bite into it, I thought I was gonna get hit with like a brownie taste. Like I thought the entire thing, like the inside, I thought the inside was just gonna be like pure chocolate also. And you can see, so there's chocolate on the outside. And then the inside is just like crunchy. So I thought that when I was gonna eat this, I thought that it was gonna be just like too chocolate for me. But what it feels like, the chocolate reminds me of kind of like a Hershey's. Not if you're eating like a, an entire Hershey bar. It kind of feels like a, like a thin layer, a thin layer of Hershey's, which is really good. It is delicious, satisfying. And I'm about to heat the whole bar, but my friend ate it and he said that he actually felt full. So because it's not high on fat and it's not high on sugar, it didn't make him want to just keep eating and eating and eating. And he said he felt pretty full from it. Now Greg's protein bar tastes like a really good protein bar. As to Remington's, yes, it is still a good protein bar. The only thing is his flavors some of them, um, in the review that I made about Remington's Anna Bars, and a lot of people say, you taste a lot of the peanut butter. He updated the two flavors, the cinnamon and the, and the peanut butter one. He added chocolate to the outside, which now you don't really taste so much peanut butter, but you're hitting more with chocolate, and it's just, I wish he would have never touched them, and he would have left them alone. But if you want better macros, and you want a satisfying, good, delicious bar, kind of go more with, towards Greg's. Remington's, I said there was times that I just wanted more of them and I catch myself eating like three a day. With Greg's, I feel like eating after this one, like I'm fine. I really, and I'm hungry right now and I don't really feel like having a desire to open up another one. The flavor is very like subtle. Remington's has a lot more flavor, a lot more higher in the micros. Greg's is more subtle. And it's better on the macros, so if I really had to choose, depending on my preference of what I want which day, I do like both of them. They both have their differences though, definitely. Both of them have their differences. And it's more on your preference. I hope I helped you guys out, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.